my lab. I don't know if I'm live or not. My live? There we go. Hi. Oh, hold on. I got to take my lantern off. One second. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, I had to take my work lantern off. I'm still in Tennessee. Still there. What are y'all doing? What am I eating? I was eating a strawberry parfait cup. Strawberries, vanilla yogurt, whipped toppings, topped with granola. Yes, reality. Passed out today <clears throat> and yesterday. I'm in Pigeon Forge. Pigeon Forge. That's where I am. Yep. It was filling. It, it's good. Oh, you don't feel well? Why, Gypsy? What's wrong, babe? Can I get your email, please? It's grand day out. Hitting them trails. It's all justice, the number four, the letter U at Gmail. Um, any coins out of the shower there? There better not be, peas. No coino. <laughs> no, I hope not. Um, so I'll probably be live at some point tonight for sure. No crime junkie. I'm. I had to come here for my work, my job, job, and yeah. Thank you for dropping that. Um, so yeah. What's the creepy cap is going on, Justin? What's creepy cap? I don't understand what you mean. I was listening to Jennifer Coffendoffer. Thank you, Rev. Hey, John. I was listening to Jennifer Coffendoffer about what's going on. I want to wait till we get some more people in here. Are, are you sick, Gypsy? What's wrong, honey? I am relaxed and I'm tired. This trip has whipped my ass. Um, yes, we're going to talk about it, Himalaya. I completely agree with Jennifer. I completely agree, support the Uvalde Foundation uh, in what they said. Absolutely. Creepy crap. Katie's words. Has something happened in the last 24 hours? Maybe 36? I'm concerned about Seth's P.I. having the last name Cohen. Hope she's not related. Oh, hope not two peas. Me too, Blondie. I don't know what that means necessarily. Sorry, there's a helicopter. I want to meet for a second. Drama channels are going eight crap. Well, you know, it's really it's really disappointing, Dana, whenever there is 
a child missing and people let this destroy their friendships um just in different people disagreeing on speculation or you know having a different theory none of us know right i'm in team you know team that i do believe someone did something Can you explain why law enforcement called the dog scent trail a false hit, please? Um, so I can't. No, I really can't, Mike. The only thing I know is that from what I've read, what I have asked, there was no hit anywhere now some people says there was a hit now when i get back i have a theory and it's probably going to make some yeah we'll ju you'll just have to wait for it um a fun size. Good Lord, I don't know what the heck my phone turned into, but I woke up to some big old foul mouth broad who sound like she was from the Hall of Kentucky or Tennessee. What the fuck was that? Talking back bad about you and Trev. Oh, I don't know. Don't know. Let him talk. That's, it serves nothing. It serves nothing if I rebuke, you know, refute or thing. It does nothing. It does nothing to help Sebastian or uh, finding a child. It just wastes my energy. So I don't, I never, if they, if they think that about me, great. You're right. I'll give it to you. Whatever you think I am. Sure. Fine. Now let me do my job. So, um, hey, baby kisses. Um, so, hey, darling. This, the discrepancy with the dog hit is there was a police officer who showed up with this fast track German Shepherd. The dog had not been given. Sebastian's sent even they got out of the car. Thank you, Elisa. Thank you so much. Thank you, Gypsy. That's it. I'm not here to strike back at anybody. If they believe something about me, perfect. Happy for you. I mean, what do you want? What what's it what's it do? Does it change anybody's mind? Does it change people who love me love me or like me like me or don't don't you know it doesn't change anybody it doesn't do, it does nothing it does nothing to benefit the world any sl thank you baby thank you love appreciate it thank you himalaya thank you my dear thank you amy just you know i'm not going to get on here and say like a three-year-old while we're discussing real real lives right because i think because i have an opinion on what i in my opinion could have happened to sebastian okay they can have theirs. I don't care. Let them have theirs. If, they, if you don't think they're, you know, Katie and, you know, Mr. Proudfoot, Chris, are not guilty, great. Happy for you. 
whatever's going to be is going to be. Whatever happened to Sebastian has already happened to Sebastian. Right? So no matter which way we feel or if we're neutral about it, whatever happened has already happened. Think about it. So, just staying away is tearing me. So, that's kind of what I want to talk about, Mike. Uh, one of the things. As we know, Chris and Katie have not been present in anything, in my opinion, as far as finding their child, their stepchild, a human being, right? They have not been out searching. I personally do think the Uvalde Foundation, I just watched Jennifer Coffin offers, uh, you know, the Uvalde Foundation for Kids, they came at a time out of tragedy right it really came out of tragedy obviously we know what happened in uvalde lives were children's lives were taken away when people could have went in and didn't so one second All right, so I do want to go over a few things that was stated that the Uvalde Foundation put out. I don't know which way. Let's see if this. Bear with me. Okay. This states, this is in part, by the way, in part, not the entire thing. Now, as the case has gravitated toward a criminal investigation, which we will not comment on, coupled with our now limited resources, our foundation ultimately initially elected to scale down our, uh, sorry. I was looking at something, scale down our efforts and ultimately cease with them. As, allude, as alluded to above, some uh, have challenged the foundation purposes here. I address, okay, that's not the, that's not the part, sorry. All right. Okay, where was it? Damn it. In an attempt to provide any help we could initially through the Stop Now Safety Responses volunteer teams, we teamed our own network of volunteers and online crisis team members, including students themselves and our national network searching passing out flyers, making phone calls, and more. As this progressed from the Tennessee from Tennessee to Mississippi to Alaska, we became increasingly convinced of the culpability of certain members of Sebastian's family in the disappearance, in his disappearance rather. As this progressed from Tennessee to Mississippi to Alaska, we came, became increasingly convinced of culpability of certain members of Sebastian's family in his disappearance. The factor has not changed, and we have made the stance public. Uh, 
and we have made this dance public. Why? Just as holding parents accountable when their child enters a school and on a lives students is students is appropriate the foundation asserts that holding family members publicly accountable when their child is endangered or harmed in any way due to their potential negligence or worse is also most appropriate Now, as this case gravitated toward a criminal investigation, which we will not comment on and coupled with uh, our now limited resources. Now, as the case gravitated toward a criminal investigation, which we will not comment on. I thought that is very very telling. In a case involving a child missing in a nonprofit, make sure that's okay. One second. Let me check something. Our foundation is not law enforcement and become involved in particular. Anyway, they are stepping back from what I understand. Stepping back. I think that is very telling, if you ask me. Very, very telling. I disagree. I, I disagree with that. Personally, life will be better. I, I think that I sub, I mean, how are they discredited? How are they discredited? I'd like to hear your opinion on that. Hold on. I need to turn my camera off a second. In my opinion, it seems like a lot of people are backing off. Oh, yeah, it is. I mean, listen, they will not give us any FOIA request, right? They don't give you any FOIA request, right? Research the man. What's the name? Sure, yeah, yeah. SL, what did SL say? Um, so if you are, for instance, so if you are, for instance, um, you know, requesting a FOIA request. So let's say we requested a FOIA request and they deny us. They have to give a reasoning and why they are denying because you have a right to appeal that reason, but by law, they have to give you cite a reason. And when you try to FOIA something, it clearly states that this is because of uh, of a criminal investigation. I mean, it's very apparent to me. It is what it is. I'll turn my camera back on here in just a little bit. Bingo. Oh, it is what it is. I am I'm not making you a mock right now because I'm actually on my phone. I don't think I can. Let me see if I can. No, I'm sorry, yeah, but when I get back to my computer, I can, as long as you're live, as long as you come in, and if I'm on my computer, I can do it. But 
I usually have to do it from my phone, but because I'm on StreamYard right now, I can't do it. Oh my goodness, Amy, thank you so much. Thank you, Lavi. Thank you for gifting five memberships. That is so sweet. Hold on, let's see here. If it'll let me do it here. I think we might need an application process. This is a Brooklyn bound two express train. The next stop is. This is, is a Brooklyn bound two express train. The next stop is Fulton Street. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. You are approved. Thank you. Uh, and please thank the five that received memberships uh, to Sweet Amy. Thank you, Sweet Amy. Appreciate it. Going to Brooklyn again. We are in Tennessee right now. Y'all are the only 10 I see. <laughs> I need sleep. In my opinion, FBI will only get involved if evidence of Ashton was taken across state lines. Well, um, so not necessarily across. It doesn't matter if it's state lines or not. But if a child goes missing and there is a criminal element to it, they will get involved. Oh my God, Canadian cookie. Thank you so much. That's amazing. Oh shit, what'd I do? Maybe, eh, I'm not used to being on my phone doing this. Um, that is amazing. If you receive those memberships, please thank our sweet Canadian this cookie. This is a Brooklyn bound two express train. The next stop beep, beep, is Beep, mother Fulton chickens, Street. we're going to Tennessee. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Like into the lesser fight. My body aches to be satisfied. My weakness comes and goes. Excuse me. Thank you so <coughs> much. Um, Canadian cookie. <coughs> I'm sorry, I got choked. Um, all aboard. Very sweet of you, my dear. Very, very sweet of you. Thank you so much. Um, so yeah. Thank you. Cold and drizzling here. Not great weather for shoulderless formal dresses. I guess I could, I guess I could do shoulderless. We have a lot of pollen in Tennessee right now. Yeah, it's nice. It, it's supposed to rain, I think. 598 in chat and 213 likes. Get them up. Get them up. Get them up. The weather is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I wonder if Katie will show up at the vigil. She doesn't even show up for her kid. Um, I'm actually, I don't. I don't really know much about it right now. I'll have to do some research and stuff and and all that. Millie, thank you, baby. Thank you so much for becoming a member. Thank you, Lavi. She won't. 
Mike, are you kind of sensing something else now, or is your is your thoughts changing on this? Yeah, Denise. Um, I mean, you can email me, and I can tell him if you want. I mean, if you're okay with that. Uh, thank you, SL. I'll be back Sunday at some point. Uh, Turtle, I'm not here for, I mean, I'm not specifically here for Sebastian, but I have been handing out flyers at the convention that I've I've been going to. So, you know, do there is a lot of people here. A lot. <gasps> Dana, thank you so much. That is amazing. Dana, thank you so much for getting 10 memberships what that's amazing thank you dana get on the train mother chickens this is a brooklyn bound two express train the next stop is fulton street stand clear of the closing doors please stand clear beep beep to the lesser fire. my body to be satisfied My weakness comes and goes My weakness comes and goes Because of Dana's very kind contribution, she has given 10 new members who are approved thank you so much dana that is so generous of you jessica thank you for becoming a member my dear it's so sweet of you guys yes what's my email my email is all oh hold on i think i might have it here i can probably put it up here i think i'm not used to using this phone for going live let me see here let's see will that one work um no that's my TikTok. my X tweeter. Nope. It's all A L L justice. The number four, the letter U at Gmail. That's what that's for. That's what that's for. <gasps> Jessica, thank you so much, my sweeties. Thank you, baby. You just gifted five memberships. Let me see here. All aboard the choo choo train. Oops, wrong run. This is a Brooklyn bound two express train. The next stop is. Beep, beep, Fulton mother chickens. Street. Get out of our way. The closing doors, please. Trying to help out here. Look how masculine I look there. My to be satisfied. My weakness comes and goes. My weakness comes and goes. Ah, uh, thank you so much, Jessica. That is so sweet of you. And thank you for becoming a member yourself. That's so nice of you. Thank you so much. That cracks me up. I look so masculine there, don't I? I know. I know. Um, yeah. So, there's that. Yeah, it's so nice. So nice of y'all. We have the best people, Amy. Swear on everything. We have the best people. The best. Uh, Mike, I didn't see it. What is your thoughts on this? Are you, are you kind of, that's right, mother, mother chicken, mother word to the mother chicken have um is your are you kind of feeling more like 
they may be more involvement. See, I don't know if it's, I mean, I, I do believe in my opinion that Chris and Katie know more than just a little argument. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you, criminal justice, true crime. Thank you, babies. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. So nice of you. Hey, Trev, good to see you. I'm in your neck of the woods, mother chicken. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Look up Crystal's crime time music and a the same picture of the man. I don't know what you mean, Cindy. What man? What man? Thank you, criminal justice. It's very sweet of you. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, how does, how does a mother and a stepfather not not look for their kid that not Fred I was putting my pie in the oven but I heard y'all making it rain here with the membership oh Shelby thank you good to have you appreciate you was a ruse to get Sebastian away from Chris in case I think so no in my, I mean, it could be, but in, you know, anything is possible, really. Anything is possible in this, but I, I personally, I personally feel a damn card. Uh, so loud. I'm in Pigeon Forge. Pigeon Forge by the Little Pigeon River. I was asking Google last night, why do they call it Pigeon Forge? Because I always want to know these things. Like, why do you call something something? You know, why do you, what's, how did it get its name? And they said it was because of the Little Pigeon River, how pigeons used to, I guess, take rest and shelter next to the Little Pigeon River, the more you know. There you go. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Grandma. Dispatch, Crystal. Hello. Yeah, that's pretty. Pigeon shit on head. I'm used to it by now. It can be a clear day, not a cloud in sight, and I'll think a raindrop dropped on me and it's a pigeon just my luck Adas, absolutely I don't think it's oh that's sweet tar I don't think it's I mean you are a target for pigeons now I'm not a Gemini I'm a cancer did they stop searching I mean, I don't think they have stopped searching per se. I think it's probably in just specific areas now. Are you coming, Fluffy? At least it's, I think they, I think Katie put Sebastian in some facility in a different state, and they have no idea he is reported missing. I feel that in my bones because she despises. Seth and doesn't want him to have Sebastian. Who knows? Oh, that's awesome, Carla. They are. Yes, reality, that would be true. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely a cancer. Um, oops.
I don't know. I just I feel like someone snapped. I am. I see you. I'm tired. Really tired. It's going to happen if you keep thinking about pigeons dropping. <laughs> um. Yeah. I, I I feel like someone snapped though when it comes to Sebastian. That's what I feel. I don't know. Like, when I think of a facility, I think, well, you've got to have a social security number. They would have had to have some form of payment or insurance. That's what I think of personally. And I believe that my dad is a cancer, big heart, but very private too. Oh. Search still happening, Justin, just not public searches though. Yeah, I think they're more triggered uh, in certain areas, uh, most likely by law enforcement. I mean, I think that they know that there is a criminal element to this. I mean, I think it's, even though they haven't told us yet, I think it's publicly, but, you know, there's just way too many things. It's not said, but known, if you will. Snapped in mom's morning drive. Um, no, Mike, I think something, I think something happened around 8 or 9 p.m. Uh, on Sunday evening. That's what I think. I think something happened around 8 or 9 p.m. Uh, he didn't have his mom. Maybe she wanted him to clean his room. Maybe he was back talking. You know, he was he was more uh you know, he was he was a teenager. I don't see I don't think it was an accident. I think I mean I like you know, it depends on how you say, you know, and it's an accident, right? An accident can be, well, you hit him, but, you know, it did something to him physically, but you didn't mean for it to go that far, right? That could be considered an accident, or an accident can be he fell and his head. So it depends on how you mean an accident. Oh, that's awesome, Lori. He may have not made it home. I'm going on the assumption that he did, though, personally. I'm going on the assumption that he did. I don't either dispatch, Crystal. I, I pray to God in heaven I'm wrong. Um, you know, I, I think it's terrible that, you know, parent or a step parent could be involved but did he get one poll did he get home please i can't do a poll right now like an official poll put a one if you think he made it home 
home, but I do you don't think you need home. I see you just became a member. Thank you, my dear. Thank you, my love. Appreciate it. Criminal justice, true crime. Did I say thank you? Thank you so much, my dear. One is if you think he made it home. Two, if you don't. Three, unsure. You always got to put a three in front. Hey, green eyes. Seems like he had he he was locked up while taking trash out. If there's any scent at all, no scent probably didn't return home. You know, it seems like Chris and Katie are the type that, at least in my opinion, that, you know, probably freak out if everything is not um, absolutely spotless at all times, right? Very type A personality right but um but uh, you know why was his this is the thing people say oh his room was his room was a mess because they were looking for him well you're not going to look for sebastian in a drawer Right. You're not going to look for him. You know, if things are everywhere. And then we hear Chris saying. Oh, let me tell you how to get their rooms clean. Start picking it up yourself or whatever and. Make it, you know, and make them throw it out. I think he ran for his life. To the retention pond and was dragged back or it happened at the pond and he still on the property there somewhere. They might look for his diary to find out why he left. I mean, I don't think he was happy there. Right. Why was his room a mess? Was uh, the way Seth made it sound, you know, he said his room was a mess, and I guess that was probably very rare for it to be that messy. Um, hey, Marlena, if your child or someone, yes, absolutely. Yes, she looked under the mattress that was lying on the floor. Keeping it going back and forth, was it? It's just not 100% sure that he made it back from the rest. You know, it, this case is very much like Summer's case. There's, there's not 100% in anything, really. And people are losing. People are losing their minds over this case, right? Creators are fighting. And it should not be this way with the child. Have your opinion and move there. Just move along. Because my opinion, your opinion, it's not going to change the outcome or what has already happened, right? Whatever happened to Sebastian has already happened, right? They're trying to find out what happened to him leading up to his disappearance. So they can find him.
So what's the point in fighting with someone who you just disagree with? Right? I mean, what, what's the point? It's not going to change what has already happened. I absolutely, geez, I absolutely agree with that. Sebastian was getting older, right? Getting bigger. I think he was probably harder to deal with. And I think he was. Yeah, Jennifer, she, uh, a video came out, what, seven or eight hours ago now, and that's what I was kind of talking about um, in the beginning of this. She was overstimulated with running all over Saturday and Sunday by the time the bowling alley getting the point, getting the point refused to remove bowling shoes, so it had them and out track. I'm sorry, Elizabeth. We saw what happened with uh, Grandma's with Kansas mom, yeah. Was Sebastian uh, step grandma willing to get rid of him for the sake of her blood and daughter? I mean, I think uh, it's clear that grandmother wants her granddaughter. Uh, but you know, there's going to be my volume's low. Is that better? Is that better? Is it better? I'm trying to talk deep. Let me see if I can audio. Oh. Is that better? Okay. If um if he made it home with no scent, then was he transported to and from the garage? Did the mom take him from the garage when she went looking for him Monday morning? Debbie, I think that is one of the most probable times she could have taken him to whatever. Did she, did she take him that morning? Did she meet my opinion? Did she meet Chris? Or did, did, um, they take him out at some point during the night? Listen, if he would have walked out of that house he would have absolutely been on someone's camera even a glimpse of him going around a, a house from next door or a couple houses down there would have been something there's too many houses in that area with cameras way too many houses right is there a video of him bowling uh not that i'm aware of I, I mean there probably is but it hasn't been made public and it probably will not be made public because um no uh, small town girl i won't be uh, i'm here for work last proof of life was at the restaurant that's well that's i mean technically it is now it may not be according to law enforcement though you know the the trash uh the trash video or them pulling into the house 
right before, you know, right when they got home Sunday evening. You know, they they may be able to see Sebastian in the car. So it could be something like that. I would think he takes the route that he walks home from the bus. Yeah, I don't think he's going to walk out of that house with it being 26 degrees in the end of February when he's very, very, very um, sensitive to, you know, textures and uh, is sensory since yeah the sensor sensory issue sorry couldn't think um i think all shoes accounted for because they forgot to put his shoes on his well cindy absolutely absolutely i think the reason there was not shoes that was on that was not on him now there could be socks there could be socks we got to remember that but I, in my opinion, the reason there wasn't any shoes is because something happened to him after he took, most likely took that trash out or he was getting ready for bed, getting ready for bed and something happened very rather quickly, rather quickly. And he wouldn't have had his shoes on. Cadaver dogs would have hit if he was deceased. They would have got him out of the house long before the cadaver scent emerged. That takes 8 to 20 hours depending on temperature. Yeah. Yeah, there wasn't, yeah, there wasn't enough time for cadaverine uh, and putrescine scent to to start. So it, it does take, they would have got him out long before that. Long before that. I mean, let's say this happened at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and that's being, that's being, giving them, a, you know, more time. From, you know, eight to six, that's 10 hours, right? Let's say this happened at, you know, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock is when she said she heard the thump, the thud, right? It's eight hours. So... I think it's strange how Chris didn't get back till, you know, one thirty, two o'clock that afternoon as well. And that's, that's a great point, Elisa. Great point. Where are those clothes that he was wearing at the restaurant? Where are they at? Right? Where are they at? Yeah, I don't think Sebastian had like a huge amount of shoes or anything like that. In 17 hours to get to the camper. Uh, I don't know what you mean by that, baby. Because I mean, Chris was gone. He went back to get his camper. Not the day after Sebastian went missing, I don't think. But it was the day after that. And he was gone for 
17 hours. He spent, he said he spent the night there. If the story is true about Chris's supervisor staying, he was in a bad mood and sent him home. Yeah, I'm just not so sure about that, though. But wherever Sebastian is, I think that they hid him extremely well. Oh, it absolutely is, Tracy. It absolutely is. And the thing is, Chris is like, I don't go home every weekend. You're three and a half hours away, mother chicken. You're not, you know, on the other side of the country. Right? I'm like, you're not on the other side of the country. I wish I would get. I wish I would get sent home if I was in a bad mood. <laughs> right. Has Seth been on YouTube this week? Um, I don't think so. And probably, it's probably best if Seth is not on YouTube, to be honest with you. And the reason is they're not going to tell him anything unless he stays off YouTube. Right. They're just not. They're not going to say anything. That's the thing. I'm worried about him too, Fluffy. Hey, Benson. How are you, babe? Hey, dogs with jobs. Why does Chris need law enforcement permission to get his fifth will? I don't think he needed permission per se. What... Chris said was according to him which we know he lies because he lied about the uh, the polygraph and stuff in the beginning but he said that law enforcement was aware where he was the entire time when he went to go get his fifth will now, to me, it's just a little bit concerning that 48 hours after your stepson goes missing, you're worried about a stupid fifth wheel, right? And I just don't get that. Yes, Marlena. Yep, it's nice out here. He was on jailers a couple minutes about the foundation. What did he say about the foundation? Which foundation? I I think they're legit. I mean, do they have the best website? They don't. No, but they're a non-profit. Yeah, Tar Heel, I agree. Yeah, you're right, Reality. You're absolutely right. Is there confirmation that the whole neighborhood cameras malfunction the night, Sebastian? went missing. I don't think, no, I think that's probably uh, BS drama. People are, you know, you know, the thing with uh, TBI, they will, they do not name suspects. They don't do it. Something else was going on with Chris, not worried about the fifth wheel. Everything them is electronic. Very strange. 
He said he didn't get any communication from them. Yeah, I mean, you know, a lot of people just go and do their thing and they, they don't, they're not there for anything other than to, to help. How do we know that Katie gave actual clothing belonging to Sebastian or the scent dog? I mean, I think, I think they would have had to know it was him. They are not transparent about nothing. And, you know, like, and they're absolutely right. They're not required to share absolutely anything with us. And that's, that's the truth. However, you would think that if they are stuck on something, they would ask for the public's help. Fifty three days long. Wow. Those new homes in the area have vivid security systems and none of them captured Sebastian at all. Yes. It's crazy. Oh, blue eyes, I hope you're doing okay, honey. Hope you're doing okay. They say everyone acts different in this kind of situation, but they have gone the opposite extreme. You know, everyone does act, has their own unique grieving. Um, but I don't see how you couldn't advocate for your child. You know, if you're missing your child, right? Missing your child, you look. You look. It's really that simple, in my opinion. No proof of life other than a video, Seth scene, and we know that, right? Can't believe what Katie says. Many hours. From, yes, exactly, Marlena. But a true mother wouldn't leave her home if he just ran away. I mean, how do you leave your home? How do you leave your home? Why, why, why do you leave your home? And it's because you seem more comfortable away from the home. Do any of the neighbors have not have kids? Are they not worried about their kids? I'm sure other neighbors have to have kids for sure. What proof that we really have Katie passed the poly? We have none other than the word mouth. The he also said Chris took a polygraph and they passed. So we have nothing other than their words. It's crazy, isn't it? This guy, these citizens, it's good to see you. If Katie is doing. I'm a ghost. Her grief. Well, yeah. So uh, the per the bank was dead. The least on top. I don't. I, I haven't really been around much in the last 24 hours. That's happened. 
but don't believe it's it's just BS. Okay. Exactly, Marlena. All right, guys, I'm going to jump off. Hold on. I'm going to jump off my... I'm starting to robot here, I think. So I'll be back later in a little bit. No aliens. No aliens. All right, guys. Love you all. I'll see you later.